a blessed celebration of the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. Do we make Jesus' Eucharistic presence visible to others? Love and blessings. I am Sister Didi Alarcon for today's Gospel. Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. In the symbolic language of John's Gospel, flesh and blood represent two central mysteries in Christ's life. His incarnation, the Word became flesh, and His shedding of blood to the last drop at the crucifixion. These two central mysteries are summed up into one in St. Paul's expression, kenosis. He emptied himself, coming in human likeness, and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Our gestures of eating the flesh and drinking the blood of Christ represent our acceptance in faith of this mystery of Christ's kenotic self-offering for us. This faith-filled acceptance is not just mental agreement, but commitment of one's life to the mystery. Mysteries reveal their meaning, not as much when they are explained to us in words, as when we personally live them. Thus, when we eat and drink the body and blood of Christ, we signify that we embrace kenosis or self-emptying as our way of Christian discipleship. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, help us to understand that to live a Eucharistic life, we too must become bread broken and wine poured out so that others may live. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.